Hairspray, a new show opening tonight on the Great White Way, has a lot of people talking. The $10.5 million production is the latest gamble in the high-stakes game of creating a hit. This morning, the making of that musical. Preview audiences are flipping their wigs over a new Broadway musical. Four years in the making, it's Hairspray, the brainchild of three-time Tony Award-winning producer Margot Lyon. I was home looking at a lot of movies, and one of those movies was Hairspray. 20 minutes into it, I said to myself, this is what I want to do. The 1988 social satire starred Ricky Lake, an edge transvestite actor Divine, and bad boy filmmaker John Waters closer to the mainstream. To turn the movie into a musical, Margot attracted an all-star creative team. Excellent. Hairspray is an affectionate look at John Waters' blueprint for this cult film that he made, but it's also a chance for us to go back and look at 1962 and kind of remember where we were. Good morning, Baltimore. Set in Baltimore, Hairspray tells the tale of an unlikely heroine named Tracy who sets out to become a regular on a local TV dance show and in the process breaks down its policy of segregation. Would you swim in an integrated pool? Well, I sure would. I'm all for integration. It's the new frontier. Every little town starts calling me down. Tracy is played by Marissa Jarrett Winoker. You may remember her from the Oscar-winning movie, American Beauty. You are so busted. You really got it going on, baby. Oh, yeah? Well, this program's joining you already in progress. Tracy, she's such a great role model, not just for chubby teenage girls. She's the role model for all underdogs. Oh, oh, oh. Baltimore has rows and rows and rows of these townhouses with form stone that have almost endless perspective. In looking for color schemes, we looked at Necco wafers as a kind of real iconic color scheme that everyone's familiar with, these Necco wafer colors that are almost yummy. You feel like you can taste them. My goal in lighting Hairspray is to give the show a 60s sensibility, but also a 21st century Broadway sensibility and bridge the gap between those two time periods. You're like a ripple. Three-time Tony Award winner Harvey Firestein bridges a gap of his own. He plays another dame, Edna, Tracy's mother. Hello. Yes, this is our childhood home. No, I'm not her father. I was asked if I would audition. My agent said, no, Harvey will only come in for a meeting because, you know, I'm much too big of a star to audition. I said, honey, I'm going in auditioning because they need to hear this voice. Hey, Casey, hey, baby, look at us. Where is every team that's half as fabulous? Harvey, can you... Uh... To write the songs for that voice, five-time Oscar-nominated film composer Mark Shaman and his life partner of 23 years, co-lyricist Scott Whitman. Well, we sat down and watched the movie uh, uh, many times, and Ricky Lake character says, Mama, welcome to the 60s. So, oh, there's a song. <laughs> and so, like, we sat in the, uh, oh, bad key. Here's a better key. <laughs> and we were, you know, uh, hey, Mama, hey, Mama, look around. Everybody's grooving to a brand new sound. Oh, go, 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 go. is definitely not stiff. There's plenty of movement. Watched a lot of television, the Shindig, Hullabaloo, the Dick Clark show from 1959 to 62. There were millions of little dances. They were very fast, and they were things that any kid could do. And is there a successful man behind every woman? Oh, my favorite. Harvey. Just ask He's costume been. designer William Ivy Long. The way we turn Harvey into woman is really seriously 
treat him like a woman already. A beautiful woman who happens to have this amazing architectural shape. In 1962, beehives reached new heights, and girls really knew how to tease. It's a structure of back combing and teasing and ratting. Ratting, like the rat. Ratting. Yeah, ratting. Yeah. It's rat's really nest. like a rat's nest. It's like a terrible mess, of course. It's a metaphor for the theater. You don't <laughs> see all the rat's nest and the mess underneath. You see no. just the beautiful gloss. Summers after producer Margot Lyon first laid eyes on the movie Hairspray. Oh, Tracy! Tonight, the musical makes its debut. And you can try to stop my dancing feet, but I just cannot stand still. Cause the world keeps spinning round and round. This is a real old fashioned great Broadway musical in the best sense of the word. But it's a little peculiar and it's a little weirder, but so are the times. Will Hairspray become Broadway's next hit? I think the audience will tell you if you've got it right, and then you can't stop them. All of us together are swept in this thing called Hairspray. <laughs> and nightly and daily create this, this magical experience. It's, it's something that I don't think is really um, describable because it's when all the pieces fall together just right and you don't really know why they do. Looks like so much fun and our own Jill Rappaport will be at tonight's premiere. She'll have the scoop for us on that tomorrow right here on Today.